<laughs> oh my goodness. You don't tell me I laugh like this or what. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not supposed to be laughing like this. Yeah, I've, 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 I was sick for a while, so much better now, so I'm getting myself back. <laughs> My goodness, where's the nipple? <laughs> I just saw this thing. It was just so funny. They've done uh, since uh, uh, you know they did this in Saudi Arabia. What do you call it? This World Economic uh, Forum, and everybody has gone home. People, leaders met in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh, right? They had the World Economic Forum. Of course, leaders who have countries that they are governing. They've all gone back to their to their respective countries. Guess who has not yet reached house? <laughs> hey, hey, Lagos State former governor who rigged the election. He has not yet reached house. So do uh, Saudi that people left is it five days ago? About five or six days ago, that's when they left uh, Saudi. When he was going, first of all, on his way there, he had all of those. Uh, he said uh, his plane, this one, that one. They brought in the next plane, Shatima's plane, that one too. He, had, he now had to use commercial to Riyadh. He went to Riyadh. He did a lot of uh, speech that uh, literally if the people that were listening were flabbergasted. They couldn't understand. We that we watched this thing. The same flabbergasted. You don't even know what you're hearing. You're just hearing words, you know, these buzz words being thrown in there, but you really couldn't hear. Okay, okay. What, what is it? What was the word? But anyway, <laughs> I don't know why it's honestly it's so funny like, that this is where Nigeria has found itself. For me, that's just, and you know how it is. You have to use humor when when. when when you see something that is so tragic, sometimes it's humor that you use to be able to cope as a coping mechanism. And I think that's where a lot of Nigerians are. As for me, that's it. So, so this here, uh, it says, uh, let me do it. This, this thing here, this particular thing here, let me bring this out. See, six days after forum in Saudi Arabia, Tinibu yet to return. <laughs> <laughs> you know that thing where little children when they send people message errand they send little children errand and then they all get to where they are getting to and everybody comes and then there's that one child that you never know where they've gone to where they've gone that it's it just that's why it's just paying out and of course, I mean, it's a country where uh, 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 anybody does anyhow the way they want. And so there are really no consequences for action. And there are really no checks and balances. There are no, you know, laid down convention of this is how things are done. This is, this is what is expected. This is how this should be done and stuff like that. So people just get to do what they want to do, how they want to do it, anyhow they want to do it. And that's the more reason why a lot of people, you know, uh, would want to rig election or watch an election being rigged and that's 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 okay to them. But we see how it's it is now. Well I had the guy <laughs> in Kukumando say no get work way they do. So that one no be any this thing. And then of course they are the ones that are doing permutation and everything that oh he has branch to go and get his health care, whatever, however, and all of that. And, and any kind of uh, thing uh, can be can be out there. But one one thing that is very significant is how we really don't have we really don't have checks and balances in any way. People just get to do what they want to do, how they want to do it, and and the people who who find themselves in a position of authority whether legitimately or illegitimately they just feel that they do not uh they they do not they are or they are not rather they are not accountable to the people so until we get to a place where 
people who find themselves in position of power, whether legitimately or, or illegitimately, know that they are accountable to the people and they have to be accountable to the people who continue to see this kind of behavior, you know, exit, uh, happening more often and, and, and going on. So it, it, it's really crazy. So the question now is, uh, uh, where is it people still Where is it? <laughs> Oh wow, Nigeria is so. For me, I'm at. I'm honestly, I'm at a place where. I am at a place where I'm. I'm quite good. I'm actually, I'm actually having fun, in the fact that I'm not invested, you know, mentally, physically, and psychologically. Because one of the things, people really don't uh, understand is the fact that. When when you're making either you're making demands or you're speaking on issues, it's you're not just be it's not just uh, oh just say it oh you say it's weird now you just say it and that no, you're you're invested emotionally, psychologically, physically, mentally, everything, and it can be so frustrating when you see things that need to be done the way they need to be done and they are not being done. I mean, it's one of those frustrating things. It's exhausting. So I've gotten myself, and I love, honestly, I love, love, love where I am right now uh, on Nigeria Matter. Like, okay, <laughs> you people want to feel the suffering? No, Allah. Bring it up. Let's have it. So I'm not even that this day. Uh, uh, you know, like people are like, oh my goodness, people are suffering, people are hungry, people can't eat, people can't pay school. People, uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not. Nah, you can't want something for some some somebody. I always say because I meet with my little like, with my kids. I always say that. Look, I always tell other parents, fellow parents, that you cannot want something for someone. You have to allow them want because I see a lot of parents who want certain things for their children. Oh, I want my child to, to get this result, to do this. I always say to them, no, you must get to a place where the child wants it for themselves. And that's why for me, like even with my kids, the school, they are sort of like courses that they did. They choose their courses themselves. I, so I wake up and I see that this this is what this one is doing. Like my son read a uh, uh, film production. The university did this thing, though. He was one that made his choice himself. My daughter uh, 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 is reading electrical engineering. The university, oh, the course, so oh, she was the one that chose chose it herself. I just woke up like, okay, this is what he chose. Oh, what, what happened? They're like, okay, this good. People came. The people do that came. They that gave a talk from the university. Blah, 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 blah. Mm, that's what you want to do. So when the course is showing you, you're not going to say that, ah, mommy, this is what you chose for me. Mommy, this is what you want. Left for me, myself, I never wanted any of my children to do science because I, I, I did science. So I'm like, please, all of that stress or whatever. Was it? If, if it was my own choice, what I would have wanted my daughter to do would have been economics and maths because she's so good in with maths. Oh, she's so good with math in, with, when it comes to maths. And... But, she wanted engineering. So it's always like that. So that's the same place that I am with Nigeria. That's the peace I have with Nigeria. Well, like, it's, it's, it, the way they want it, eh? that's, that's, how, that's how it's going to be. So enjoy it. Enjoy it. You're not going to put that wala. But anyway, shall let me not digress too much. It's just to let you know that uh, when a tinibu, it don't go, uh, what do they call it now? Uh, Saudi Arabia never come back. You know, I mean, I go as well in 